tension on that screw at all. Too much cross weight. So you got real heavy tension on the back corner. No weight on this corner. No weight on that corner. A lot of weight on that corner. So we got a lot of weight on that corner and the far corner. And these two here are really light. So that's trying to twist a lathe like that. Which is really not what I want to be doing. You can see how the thing is still wanting to come up on the other side. So if you're in doubt, change your level around. And see if it repeats. It repeated, see? Still off. So I think that corner needs to go down. What I think. But that's not what the level is showing. The level showing that corner needs to go down. Everything's pointing to that corner is too damn high. There's, just, there's no weight on that thing. Corner still low. So it acts like the lathe's got a permanent twist in it right now. <clears throat> Fighting a built in problem. Oh. My arm doesn't, my elbow doesn't bend backwards like that very well. Yeah, that hurt. All right, that brought it up. I brought this up too, I bet. Oh yeah. See, that's what it wanted. Yeah, wanted that. It's a little bit of that too, but. It does not take much to make that change a bunch. There's so little weight on this thing, it's ridiculous. I can just about turn up my fingers. Probably could turn up my fingers almost. Okay. Let's see what we got down here. We can get one side good, but not the other. We need to get both sides good. That corner's high. See, that's our cross weight again. The lathe has a bunch of cross weight stuck in it. What's this showing this way? See, front to rear, we're not too bad. It's showing that this is a little bit low on this corner. Yeah, when you do the cross weight, that one's high. So that one over there needs to drop way down. We have almost no weight on this corner, and that one over there ain't got much either. So we're going to crank some more into it, or take some out of it, I should say. There's a big twist in this lathe, so if I put some weight to it and let it sit overnight, maybe it'll uh, stabilize back to where it should be and straighten itself up. That moved it. Okay, still a little bit high on that back corner. 
Once again, it's got no weight over there. Let's see what happened over here. Yeah. Showing this corner's being low now. Oh, damn, that's got some weight on it. Let's brought that up a little. What do you do for this direction? Yep, I've centered it on that one. It's definitely a little on this side. That side looks good. This side's bad. That needs to be loosened up some more on that one. I don't think there's any weight on that one. <laughs> no, it's in the air. All right. Well, it is what it is at this point, so. Pretty even that way. Let's see what we got going on over here now. It shows that's high. Cross screw needs to go up. It's light on that corner anyway. I'm gonna put some more on it. <sighs> oh, that's got some weight on it. That's got a lot of weight on it. That didn't do anything. That makes a difference. Oh you know, yeah, this thing's jacked all up. Look at this thing. I oh, can't turn that. Okay, so watch this leg move. Yeah, it's, it's on two legs. All the weight's on two legs. It's just, I think it's got a big twist in it. Yeah, these screws, this one here and that far one don't have any. It's, it's laying on that screw and this one back here right now. And that's where all the weight is on it. She's jacked up. He wants more. <laughs> yeah. He wants more. Yeah, it's got a lot of weight on it. Oh yeah, see as I crank that up, it knocks this cross weight out. This over here is all. See if I stand on it, pull on it. See the the lay is not. The lay's got all this weight on two feet, so there's not much I can do about that at this point. Let's see what our cross is up here, side to side level. Too much in there finally on that one. Let's crunch it up. Got a lot of tension on that thing. Okay, we're back where it belongs on that side. Okay, so we're gonna let this sit overnight. Because we're not 
Like I said, all the weight's only on two feet. It just moves a lot. So when this leg got moved, it might have got a twist put into it from we you know moving it around. So because right now it's got a big twist in it. So I'm gonna let it sit for uh, a little while. <clears throat> let the thing kind of twist back on it. See what comes out. Because right now it's gonna settle to where it wants to settle at over time, and it'll, it'll straighten itself out. And. Uh, if it doesn't want to, the other thing you can do, you can shock it a little bit by hitting it with a hammer. And beat on the label a little bit. Boom, 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 and it'll, it'll self-center a little bit too. So that would be a matter of moving this down here. Side down there, all the way down to here. Same. <clears throat> so the lay straight. <clears throat> so if we just give a little bouncy bouncy on it. Wake it up a little bit. If you didn't know, that's how you straighten sheet metal to get a new memory in it. You put a stress on it and you beat on it a little bit to let it kind of normalize the tension out and it'll stay that way. So we're doing the same trick on this. This is cast iron. Cast iron has a very stable material, it doesn't really care what you do to it too much. Very, very stable. That's why you make machines out of it. <clears throat> but it does have a memory. Put these blocks back up and see what happens. Probably nothing, but yeah, who knows? Yeah, same. I'm not surprised. But let's sit for a day or so, figure it out. I need to cut a distributor for that knuckle in on this thing, so one way or the other, I'm going to use it tomorrow. So right now the lathe's got a big twist in it. Over time the twist should come back out, it'll settle, and it should come out. Because right now we're all the weights on our two feet. It definitely moves around a lot, so it's got a lot of tension on it. It's bouncy, 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 bouncy. Yeah, the whole leg's moving a lot. That's because we don't have equal weight on all the feet. That's because it's twisted. All right, we're going to wait, see what happens tomorrow. I got a distributor I got to cut down here for this knuckle right here. So tomorrow I'm going to turn this thing square. So there's no square, there's no center on this thing on this side. I figure I'm going to hold on to this thing, so we'll figure it out tomorrow. I'm going to turn this thing down so it's straight. These are the original ones here. So this was cut down because it didn't work. So I'll cut that thing round and true. And I'll cut on that case over there and try to make things work. So, all right, that's it for tonight. We'll let this settle overnight and we'll come back tomorrow and see what, it, see what happened. All right, that's it for now.